Hi guys, for today's video I'm going to be filming a review and demo on the RCMA No Color Powder. This powder has been super hyped up across YouTube lately, so I figured I'd buy it and try it out for myself, especially for my kit. I thought it'd be awesome on clients. By the way, I'm sorry about like the sun glare, it's kind of bothering me, but I really wanted to film and it's just the time of day right now where the sun is like starting to get lower in the sky. So, And if you're wondering what my shirt says, it says let's binge watch something. It's kind of just like a cute muscle tea and I got it from TJ Maxx. Anyway, back to the review. Again, I'm talking about the RCMA No Color Powder and this powder retails for $12. I got mine from Beautylish.com. You can get it from a bunch of different websites. I'll link it right down below. I'm not sure if it's still in stock because it's been out of stock a lot lately, so, but I'll leave a link to where you can find it and you guys can check if it's in stock. Compared to something like the Laura Mercier where you only get one ounce of powder and it's $38, I absolutely think this is a steal because you get triple the product for literally like one third of the price so it comes in this like kind of cylinder looking bottle and the cap just flips up and it has holes on the top where you shake the powder out from I do have major issues with the packaging you guys the powder is so nice which I'll get into in a little while but the packaging is so not practical and I really just don't like it I really just I don't know really how to get the powder out of here I've tried kind of just like shaking it on my brush and it just doesn't work. It's really messy and I think the holes that are on the top are way too big for... <laughs> See, it's like coming out all over. I really think the holes on top are way too big for how finely milled the powder is. I think way too much powder comes out at one time. So I really wish it was like in like a little tub like the Laura Mercier powder and it had like a little sifter or something in it when you shook it out into the caps. It's not a powder that I reach for when I'm like in a rush or anything because it does make a mess and it does take way too long. But if I have the time, I do like reaching for it and I do like using it. If you have dry skin, I really think you'll enjoy this powder because it is a really nice setting powder without being overly drying or overly heavy or overly cakey. I wouldn't say that it's necessarily an oil control powder. I think it controls my oils to an extent, but not fully. I do find myself having to blot a few times throughout the day, but that's not anything out of the blue for me. I tend to blot no matter what powder I use because I just am so oily. Overall though, I really do enjoy this powder. I think it's a good powder for the price. The only con is the packaging. Like I said, it's really nice and finely milled. It makes my skin feel so nice and soft. I highly recommend the powder to everyone, no matter what kind of skin you have, oily skin, dry skin, especially to makeup artists because it does have that no color factor. Plus it's such a huge tub for such a cheap price. This will last you like hundreds of clients. And again, it has that no color factor, so it won't alter any like skin tones, foundation colors, or anything like that, and it doesn't leave a flashback. I have tested it out with flash photography, and it doesn't leave any flashback, which is awesome and key when looking for a nice powder, especially for a special occasion. So I'm just going to read you guys what it says on the back. It says that this is the perfect universal setting powder for all skin types. No color powder contains absolutely no pigment, no perfume, no fillers, and will never alter your foundation, shade, or natural skin tone. It will set your makeup with a flawless finish that won't cause a flashback, and I totally agree with all those claims I definitely think they're true all right so that was my full thoughts and review on the RCMA no color powder right now I'm going to insert a little demo for you guys so you guys can see how I like to apply it and how the powder itself looks and applies so without further ado let's just get on into the demo all right so I know I'm a little far away but the glare is like so intense if I get any closer as you can see it's going to go on my face so the first thing I'm going to do is apply my foundation and concealer off camera because that's not the focus of this video I just want a nice base on so you guys can see how how the powder works. So I'm going to do that and come right back. Okay, so now I have my base on and I did give it a few seconds to set, so now we're going to jump into the powder. So my favorite way to apply the powder is take a little empty powder container. This is my empty Laura Mercier powder and I just like to take the lid off of this and take the RCMA powder and kind of just shake some in there. As you can see, a lot of powder comes out at a time. And it's very finely milled. I will do a close-up of the powder so you guys can see. So I just like to take some of the powder in the cap like that and take my little Real Techniques setting brush to set the concealer under my eyes. And I'll just put it on like this. And as you can see, it does kind of look a little white at first, but it literally blends out to nothing. And I think that's so awesome. Like, in a way, it gives a really nice brightening effect 
without making you look white and it really doesn't alter the color in any way. It's just a really nice brightening effect. So now that I have the under eye set, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my face. And I'm just using a big fluffy powder brush for this. As you can see powder does kind of fly around when you set your face because it is so finely milled but I love how finely milled it is because it looks like you're not really wearing powder it really just smooths out your face and gives your face a really nice airbrush finish this powder does not look cakey in any way and it just makes my face feel so silky soft and smooth so I'm just going to use up the powder in the cap so I don't waste it as you can see, it didn't alter the color of my foundation. It kind of just blended in with my skin tone. I do have to say when you pack it on under your eyes, it can give like a little brightening effect, but nothing crazy. And I actually really like that for under the eye. So overall, I really love how this powder feels on my face. I love the longevity of it and I love everything about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.